Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Finance Homefront. I'm your host, Craig, and I'm thrilled to have you join us today. Before we dive into today's discussion, I want to extend a heartfelt thank you to each and every one of you for tuning in. Your support means the world to us. If you find value in our content, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and feel free to share your thoughts respectfully in the comments below. Today, we're delving into the dynamic world of real estate, where recent developments are reshaping the landscape in profound ways. From the unforeseen surge in mortgage rates to groundbreaking legal settlements, the housing market is experiencing a period of unprecedented change. While I'm here to provide insights and analysis, it's important to note that I'm not offering financial advice. And so let's explore what's been happening and what it means for the future of real estate, primarily due to an unforeseen surge in mortgage rates, exacerbating affordability issues. The spring home buying season has yet to show signs of vitality. While newly constructed home sales are flourishing, transactions involving existing homes, which represent the majority of the housing market, have stalled. On the positive side, the lukewarm demand for existing homes is contributing to alleviating the country's low housing inventory. Simultaneously, the home buying process is on the brink of a significant transformation. In April, a judge provisionally approved a groundbreaking $418 million settlement regarding real estate broker commissions centered around the National Association of Realtors, NAR. The forthcoming regulations mandating substantial changes to the industry's traditional buying and selling model are set to take effect in July. Housing market outlook for 2024. The recent escalation in already elevated mortgage rates and home prices over the past weeks amid a prolonged scarcity of housing inventory has dampened the expectations of many potential buyers. Nonetheless, despite ongoing challenges in affordability, Fannie Mae predicts an uptick in home sales compared to the previous year. Analysts also foresee a slower rise in home prices throughout 2024 compared to recent years. However, price fluctuations will continue to be influenced by regional disparities and local market dynamics. Furthermore, U.S. home prices recorded a 6.4% annual increase in February, the eighth consecutive month of year-over-year -year growth and the fastest annual rate since November 2022, according to the latest S&P CoreLogic Case-Shiller Home Price Index. Home prices are currently at or near record highs. Despite the recent surge in mortgage rates, the month-over-month -month home price index saw a robust 0.6% increase. By comparison, the average monthly index gains stood at 0.2% between 2015 and 2019, according to Selma Hep, CoreLogic's top economist. Can the housing market finally rebound in 2024? For a housing recovery to materialize, several prerequisites must be met. To achieve the best possible outcome, we would need to witness a significant increase in the inventories of homes for sale, explains Keith Gumbager, Vice President at HSH.com, an online mortgage company. This additional inventory would subsequently alleviate the upward pressure on home prices, potentially stabilizing them or facilitating a modest retreat from peak levels. Moreover, mortgage rates would need to stabilize, although the timeline for such a development seems increasingly prolonged, given that rates have surpassed 7%. For the week ending May 2nd, the 30-year fixed mortgage rate climbed to 7.22%. However, Gumbinger warns against a rapid decline in mortgage rates. A sudden decrease could spur a surge in demand, offsetting any gains in inventory and causing home prices to rebound. It's preferable that rate reductions occur gradually, progressively improving buyer prospects over time rather than all at once, Gumbinger emphasizes. He further suggests that mortgage rates returning to a more normal range 
of the upper 4% to lower 5% could aid in the housing market's gradual return to levels seen between 2014 and 2019. However, Gumminger anticipates that it may take some time before such rates are reinstated. Nevertheless, Kuba Juginyu, CEO of Realty One Group, a real estate brokerage firm, remains optimistic about a recovery this year. We're certainly anticipating an improved housing market in 2024 as interest rates begin to stabilize around 6% or even lower, says Juginyu. Let's look at how the settlement shakes up the residential real estate industry. Following years of legal battles, the National Association of Realtors has agreed to pay $418 million to resolve a series of prominent antitrust lawsuits filed in 2019 on behalf of home sellers. In April, a federal judge granted preliminary approval for the settlement. The plaintiffs allege that the leading National Trade Association for real estate brokers and agents had colluded to mandate that home sellers pay the broker representing the buyer of their homes in violation of federal antitrust laws. While a final approval hearing is scheduled for November, the association expects the practices outlined in the agreement to take effect starting in late July. The settlement necessitates national realtors to implement new regulations, including the prohibition of broker compensation offers on multiple listing services, MLS, the proprietary databases that enable local real estate brokers to publish and exchange information about residential property listings. Furthermore, sellers will no longer be obliged to pay commissions to buyer brokers, a significant departure from a long-standing practice. Real estate agents participating in the MLS will be required to establish written representation agreements with buyers. The National Association of Realtors denies any wrongdoing and contends that its existing policies benefit both buyers and sellers. The organization argues that it is not accountable for seller claims regarding broker commissions, asserting that it has never dictated commissions and that they have always been subject to negotiation. If you have sold a home within the past decade, you may be eligible for a portion of this settlement. Visit realestatecommissionlitigation.com for more details on filing a claim. How will the new regulations affect the buying and selling process? Under the terms of the National Association of Realtors Settlement, the costs associated with buying and selling homes are poised to undergo significant changes. Industry experts anticipate a more transparent and competitive marketplace following the implementation of the new regulations. Home buyers are likely to benefit from increased access to information, facilitating more informed decisions during the home purchasing process. Sellers, in turn, may enjoy greater flexibility in negotiating commissions with their real estate agents. The demise of the traditional 6% commission structure commonly divided evenly between the buyers and sellers agents is anticipated. Instead, the implementation of a more flexible fee arrangement could emerge with both parties likely negotiating individual rates. The impact of the settlement on real estate agents and brokers remains uncertain. Some analysts argue that the changes could undermine the traditional brokerage model, prompting a shift toward alternative business models such as flat fee or fee-for-service arrangements. Nonetheless, the National Association of Realtors remains confident in the enduring value of its services and the integral role its members play in facilitating successful real estate transactions. The organization emphasizes its commitment to adapting to evolving market dynamics while continuing to advocate for the interests of its members and their clients. Navigating the future of real estate. As the residential real estate landscape undergoes significant transformations, buyers, sellers, and industry professionals alike must remain vigilant and adaptable. While uncertainty looms over the market's future trajectory, proactive engagement with emerging trends and regulatory developments is essential for informed decision-making. 
So, in conclusion, whether you're contemplating buying, selling, or investing in real estate, staying abreast of the latest developments and seeking guidance from experienced professionals can help you navigate this evolving landscape with confidence and clarity. Thanks for watching, fellow investors.